Hello and welcome to Chechi Automation. I am your friend Janis. In this video, we will discuss how to bypass login step from the UI. So let's begin. To understand the bypass of login step from the UI, let's go back to the our applications. Let's open the developer tool. Over here, please observe the exager response when you actually log into the application. Let's log into the applications. Click on the sign in. And over here, we can navigate to the network tab. Now, please observe here for the XHR response. Let's type our email address, which is this at this.com, and password is this. Once I click on sign in button, over here, we can see that there has been called an API known as the login. If you click on the login, we can see that it has been requested on this URL. And method type is post and the login required email ID and a password. So it should be passed inside the request payload as a user object. Once you post this request, you will get a response. Let's navigate to the response tab. You will again get the user object and inside that we have a token. Now the token is very important. Based on the token received from the request stored inside the browsers. So once you logged in and you refresh this page. You are again on the same page. It means that the token has been stored in a browser. So where actually token has been stored? To understand this, let's navigate to the application tab. And in application tab, on the left hand side we have local storage. Click on that. And inside this we have the localhost 4100. Click on that. Now, over here you can see that we have the key JWT and the token has been stored over here. So if I remove this token and refresh this page, now you can see that we are now logged out. Alright? So if I again store this token value and refresh this page again, now I'm again logged in. It means that if we request the post matter with the user object that contains the email and the password, I will get the response as a token and this token should be stored inside the browser and we visit the URL which is starting by the localhost 4100 we are automatically logged in. By this way, we can skip the login step from the UI. Let's achieve this by using the Cypress command known as cy.request. Let's go back to the VS code. Let's create a new files under the integration name as bypasslogin.spec.js Let's write the describe As I mentioned that to call the API request with the Cypress command cy.request Now this request requires the object Inside this object we would be passing the URL the API URL Second is the request method and the third is the body Right? First one is the URL the URL is this one. Let's copy the entire URL, pass it over here, and the matter should be the post. And inside that, we need to pass an object name as user. And last is the body. Over here, we need to pass a user object like this. Alright, once the request has been completed, you can get the response by dot then get the response. And let's log on a test runner with the command cy.log and a response. Let's save it. Open the cypress with command npx cypress open. Let's open the bypass login.spec file. So over here you can see that we got an object. Let's open a developer tool. On a console you can see that we have an object. In the object we have a body. Inside this body we have the user. In the user we have the token now. So now we need this token. This token should be stored inside the our local storage. So first let's get this token. So for token we have inside the body, user and then token. Let's go back to the our VS code. Response dot body dot user dot token. This will return the token value for us. Let's save it and see on a test runner. Perfect. We got a token now. Another way is you can directly get the body after a request with a command name as dot its body and you can write this then directly from the response dot user dot token now this response is nothing but the entire body let's save it and see whether it's correct or not 
perfect we are getting the token now we need to store this token inside local storage for that let's remove this log now and local storage dot set item the key should be jwt and the value should be our token let's save it once it is set you can visit the our application and this time the application should be logged in with the user let's save it and we can see on our test runner see we are now login without any ui interaction so this is very important when your applications require login before each and every test you can reduce a lot of time by skipping login from the ui so that's it for today in next video we will see how to generate the execution report in html thank you